Hi guys, welcome back to another video with Jessie and today I'm going to be showing you all the apps that I use to edit my photos. So the main ones that I use is Preview, Facetune 2, Face, Facetune, and Viasco. Those are the only apps that I highly recommend to use. And Snapseed is also good, but this is a before picture and this is an after picture of my baby. And I'm going to show you a few more. Let me find one okay i found one so this is the before still cute not bad and this is like smooth look healthier skin hideous gorgeous instagrammable and the other one is definitely not instagrammable <laughs> so um this one is how's the diet me literally mood i'm just trying to be funny guys <laughs> But that's me literally me um if i can describe myself in a picture that'll be me <laughs> and here's another one a uh, before i mean after and before after and open facetune to begin to um with the photo and start by importing photo you want to click on the little camera there and then open photo you're going to click there and you're going to select your favorite picture mine is under favorites because I, I weed out all the ugly pictures so i'm going to click the picture that i like and i want to edit so um this error message is going to pop out and always use maximum size so i'm going to start by using the whining tool and I'm going to whiten all the fox for carpet, everything that is white, everything that I want white and I want it to stand out. So I want that carpet to be white as it can be. So I did this photo shoot for my 28th birthday and I was going to do it in broad day daylight, but my makeup and the balloons and shopping for all that took time. It was time consuming. So I ended up doing this at nighttime with the help of my daughter and I had to pull all the lighting from all the rooms. So all the lamps that I had, everything to make it like get a good picture, at least try to get a good quality picture. So by editing this picture and winding it, everything is going to make my picture look like it's been professionally done. So you want to get everything um whining everything that you want want it to be a true white to its color and um you ever you want to get every nook and cranny you want to make sure you whiten everything and um go back and forth to see whether you like it or not it just gets away that yellow tones as you saw so um I'm really getting in there, making sure that I'm not missing any corner, any nook. I'm just getting everything. And the flowers, I'm just going to leave it like that because it, it was an off-white um, flowers. And I, I just want to leave it like that. So, I'm going to zoom in and I am making sure that everything's good. So, as you can see, it's a big difference with the whining tool. <laughs> Just making sure and I am after you're done whining everything that you want to white then you're gonna click save then I'm gonna click whiten again on the whining tool and I'm gonna give me a Colgate smile <laughs> I have yellow teeth and um, you can't tell as bad in, in the picture but you also want to get the pupils of your eyes um, not the pupils but your eyes um, the white and color it white and zoom in and go back and forth like Colgate smile <laughs> so um save that and then I'm gonna go in with the smooth tool and I am gonna smooth out my legs because my eye my eyes my legs are pretty rough and I want it to be smooth as fuck so it could look like fucking butter um that leg I think um my left leg yeah that one i think that one had a little bruise when um i kind of um i sprained my ankle really bad so i wanted to smooth out and i didn't want to see no purples in there just make it look like a buttery feet so i'm gonna click and save that picture 
um, and export it to my camera roll. And then I'm going to click preview. Oh, I love this app so bad. I mean, not so bad. I love this app so much that literally it's like gives you like a um, preview of your Instagram, like how you want to lay it out and you get the edit editing effects filters that you like so this is all the filters um so you have essentials whites whites to grunge brown tropical moody pastel original oh, colorful colorful two pink dark fall black and white and vintage so those are all the uh filters they have the main one that i use is white um tropical this is a tropical this filter oh my god g6 i love this filter oh my god this filter is so cute but i mainly used the colorful filter so you, you, you have many options to um filters to choose from so i'm gonna go with colorful and kind of play with um to see which one i like so i go from original and go k1 and go back and forth with which one i like i already know which one i like and um my favorite one to use is the k7 and k3 k3 is also good so see it's bit like dull and that just made my picture pop make my picture pop and stand out and brighten all the colors that i want it to be bright in so uh, that's the main one that i use i love that filter k7 and put it on 10 and leave it on 10. so i saved it and then i copied it um to my camera roll and now i'm gonna show you the before oh no now we're gonna go back to facetune and open that um picture that i just saved the most recent one with the color now this is my favorite thing to do i click on details on details and zoom in where i want it to be showing like more more i don't know if that makes sense to be more clear more crispier i guess in the picture so i'm gonna zoom in uh, where my leg is on the shoes and i'm gonna click on my legs and i'm gonna um detail that but be careful when you're detailing because it sometimes changes the color of your skin tone so you just want to go back and forth i don't know it just makes it a little bit sharper and it really focuses on that so you see go back and forth what you like it um so I, i'm also gonna do the crown and i'm gonna um do um the crown some of my hair and the balloons so i'm doing the balloons see they kind of look blurry and then they kind of like sharpen it so that's what the details i really focus on the details of everything so this is where i did the crown and i'm doing the hair a little bit of my face i like doing the eye section and just go back and forth on the details but not only on the details but everything in general like color um everything um the smoothing tool everything that you use to edit what i like to do if it's, i'm using the whining tool i whine in everything first and i click the little check mark then move on to the smoothing click check mark once i'm done just so everything won't like if i have to go back and erase i won't erase what i already started so i'm gonna save this into my camera roll and i'm gonna go jump back into I, um, the preview and I'm gonna delete the one that I had there and I'm gonna pull up the most recent one which is the one that we just finished and upload it next to the 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 one that I started with and I'm gonna show you the before so this is the before um, dual no fun doesn't it's like no colors no there's no life in my photo and boom there's life there's color it's gorgeous and i love it so i hope you like this um editing um how i edit my photos like and subscribe and i see you on the next video bye